Alright, so hopefully you can see this okay. So we are going to take notes from the dermis. Um, the dermis starts with the dermal papillae. This is the layer that separates the dermis from the epidermis. Um, you're going to see epidermal ridges here. Um, this you're going to project inward, find the epidermis, to the dermal layer to act kind of like a glue, or actually more like a Velcro. Connect the two layers together. And the reason they um, ridge in or curve in um, is to increase the surface area for stronger attachment. Um, these ridges are going to produce your your fingerprints, and they, you have these in your um, thick skin, so your palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Um, and the ridges also increase friction um, to help you grab things better. The dermis is composed of the dense connected tissue um, that includes collagenous fibers and elastic fibers, um, which are strong and elastic. Also includes blood vessels, nerve cells, heart receptors, which we call pore muscles, um, muscles, um, which we call erector pili, sebaceous glands, which are oil glands, and sweat glands, and also hair follicles in here. We'll talk about each one of those more specifically when we get into the accessory organs of the dermis. Um, here's a picture so you can see on the top here, see epidermis. Um, which go, so all those pink layer down here is also the epidermis. And these ridges here are the dermal papillae or epidermal ridges. So it's connect the two layers together. So everything between there and this yellow fatty layer is the dermis. Um, so it's going to include the blood vessels, the nerves. There's a um, sweat gland. And there's the hair and the hair follicle, the oil glands around the hair follicle. There's the rectal muscle there that will connect the hair to the epidermis. And it's basically going to pull on that hair root when it con um, contracts and makes the hair stand on end and lets you pop. Um, there's some nerve endings in here, that, which we call core muscles. Um, then we go to the hypodermis, or the subcutaneous layer. This is the below the dermis. Hypo is below. So this is a loose connective tissue, and it's adipose tissue, and it's blood supply. The adipose tissue is going to serve to insulate this, the body, and help conserve body heat, keep the body heat out, and going to keep external heat, or rather, let me back up, keep your own body heat in to be warm, and keep out body heat, or external heat, um, keep cool. There's really no sharp boundary between the hypodermis and the dermis. Um, just kind of continuous. When you see the yellow fatty layer, that's when you start to have the hypodermis. On that, we'll conclude our notes for today. Keep nice and short. We continue.